Welcome to the Truck of Round channel. This video was done with Theo Vaughn and a female trucker. And she's discussing pretty much the sex worker problem in trucking. And she is going to say what she's seen on the road when it comes to us. Truckers against trafficking. We are against that. Oh, actually, if there's it, mostly what I see is men that are single out there picking up the lot lizards. OK, mostly of what she see is men out here picking up lot lizards. Y'all nasty for that, you know, and they'll get what they want and then send them on their way. And then they stop you, to the next truck. You know, is it next. usually set or they is it blow job and is it oral sex? Do you know you what know, it I is? I don't out even there? know. It Look at her face. And that's the appropriate response. You nasty. Y'all, y'all need y'all need to stop messing with the lot lizards, man. I, and the way she's saying it is crazy because I don't see that a lot, but it makes it seem like it kind of sounds like she sees it a lot. I don't know. It depends on what state you're going to. Uh, it just I guess it would depend on the girl and how much money he wants to spend. You yeah. know. Ugh. But yeah. Do you know the rates there. on any of it? How how <laughs> the, no, oh. I wouldn't want to. Yeah. Because it's literally like you gotta worry about them girls sometimes. Because I've been told that they can actually lay underneath your trailer. Mm. And as you're coming out to say, if you're a man, you're standing out there taking a piss. They cut your ass. They can cut you. Cut you in the back of the ankle like on the hospital. Rob, rob your ass. You hear that? A lot of this stuff is going to the point where they're just robbing you. They don't even want to get a cheeks up. You open yourself for a lot of liability and danger to person when you mess with these girls. So I hope that y'all are not, not to mention a lot of these girls are trafficked. It is not a good idea for you to be picking up any lot of lizards of any kind. Just like hostile. And that's, you got to watch them. I've watched them at night when I'm just pulled in and it's two o'clock in the morning mm -hmm. and it's been raining. I'll see, you know, it's, it's actually raining. There's a woman walking around in a pair of shorts and high heels mm -hmm. and she's tapping Attractive on each door. Dark. Well, it's dark. Can't really tell. <laughs> Help. But you see. It's dark. You Let me tell you something. This, I'm a trucker. This has happened to me more than 30 times knocking on my door. I've seen them more than a hundred times, but knocking on my door somewhere around 30 times. And like I said, this usually happens in places like um, Memphis is a big one. West Memphis is a big one. Uh, certain truck stops in Arizona, Las Vegas. It is horrendous, horrendous in Las Vegas. Yeah, it's it, it can be a problem. They hurts, you know, going from door to door to door to truck to truck to truck. Oh, and yeah. then the next thing you know, she disappears for about 20 minutes mm -hmm. and then she's out again. You'll see a light on in the truck. That's the dome. Then, you know, it's, it's like, ah, oh, that's the dome. All uh -huh, right. Uh -huh, I know Dang. what you're doing. Uh -huh. And then she'll come out. But I've seen them walk around the trucks. Like they're looking for shit. Right. Or maybe they're going to disconnect something or pull something. You got to watch them because you don't know what they're doing. Well, they have that famous documentary with Eileen Warnos where she wasn't she killing truckers. Yeah, he's talking. Yeah, Eileen, if I'm not mistaken, she was the first considered serial killer. Uh, it's a good documentary. It's a good watch. And she was uh, getting to the point. She had been a prostitute for a long period of time. And she was getting to the point where she wasn't attractive enough to get you know, fair scale or people were stopped picking her up. So what she was doing was she was picking up guys and just killing them and taking their money. I believe she killed around seven people. So yeah, it's dangerous out here, man. It's not a joke. No, she actually was killing just random people that was picking her up. Right. She there was prostituting go. herself out and just randomly picked out some dudes. And Do you see, is there any pimping or anything like going on out there? Do you see anything like that? Do you know who's approached my trucks? It, my truck is usually men drivers. Other now she about to, she about to get in y'all cheeks. How y'all are treating how you treating your your women uh, colleagues, man? It, it, it's a thing. Man, drivers just want this. Now, are they asking specifically for sex, or just kind of flirting, or just saying? Well, hey? I had a Bosnian guy. Uh, he told me he was from Bosnia, mm -hmm. and uh, he wanted to tell me how big and beautiful my boobs were. Oh, yeah. and I was like, okay, okay, you know, <laughs> pretty cool. I mean, and first of all, that is nice. It was in Maryland. You know, I'll tell you this. 
Maryland. Maryland does have a Petro. I think it's a TAR Petro up there. I think it's Jessup, Maryland. Y'all comment at the bottom where that infamous TA is in Maryland. Yeah, a lot of wild stuff be used to go on there. I don't know if it goes on there anymore. My dad even told me stories about that place. If a lady came up to my window for no reason and said, hey, man, I like the yeah, size Yeah, yeah. Well, this is kind of scary. You know, you're a fired. girl I'd in be... the truck by yourself. You're you right. Know? My yeah. bad. You're right. <laughs> so. Anyways, he's, uh, he sticks his body halfway in my window. Okay. It's a beautiful day. I had the windows down, which is stupid. You don't do that. So he put his head. You don't do that. My students always ask me why I never roll the window down. Number one, I have allergies, so I don't like crossing states. And you get down there, Louisiana, down the county, you got a rag weed and all this pollen stuff. The trucks be yellow with pollen. So I keep my window up and keep the end cap filter going. I keep it on recycle. If you have any type of allergies, put it on the little recycle and that means it's recycling and cleaning the air inside of the truck, and that'll that'll calm some of that down. But yeah, your window down, you're open for you're open for attack. Ed in the window. He was in his body was okay. in the window up to halfway. Yeah, I'm standing there making up my bed. You know, just kind of gonna stretch out or watch TV. Yeah, the windows open. It's nice, nice out. Nice, beautiful day. Next thing I know, I turn around and I was like, ah, I screamed, and I was like, you could get a shot like that, dude. What the fuck? Get out of my truck. Damn. And he's like, Handsome oh, hey. guy or not. <laughs> It wasn't bad looking. Now nah, we're talking. But it's still Bring up Bosnia. Let me see where yeah. it is on the map, Sean. Yeah. <laughs> Theo is an asshole, but at the same time, he, you know, he's a comedian, so he's supposed to make light of some of this stuff. Check it out. Bring up an Because I asked him if he was Russian and he got pissed at me. Oh, yeah, they get upset. He's like, oh, hell no, I'm not Russian. <laughs> we'll just wear a sign that says Bosnia then, dude. It's because you know, I was like, we well, where are you from? Here. And he's like, Bosnia. Yeah. We hate Russians. Yeah, they'll fight, man. They love to fight Russia. Yeah. Um, maybe Google Bosnia man outdoors maybe but yeah he told me that uh if uh if he he would hate himself if he didn't tell me that he wanted to have a good time i was like roll on alabama i ain't know <laughs> no now, the bearded guy look at him let's look at that guy down you, a little third row no i'll tell you what he looked like was okay. more like the uh, the top roll up there and third guy that's the same guy but i mean that's more like the picture okay that's what he looked like wow handsome kind of like you said a little bit handsome he was okay oh yeah but it was just too weird man yeah it's a bit <laughs> a heavy approach you know you can't do the flake thing you know it's kind of flaky yeah <laughs> yeah i mean i can only imagine you know what what women really go through driving by themselves and if there's a woman that want to come on the show and discuss it and talk about the things that happen when you're driving by yourself i can only imagine what y'all go through because truckers can they can they can live up to their reputation it's not always the lot lizards and another thing too lot lizards wouldn't be there if there weren't customers that's that symbol people don't do things that don't work they're there because it works and they get customers and they make money you try to encourage young men to like at least shoot their shot you know but that's kind of a shady way to do it well i'll tell you some funny stuff too about other episodes as well we had a i was doing a, a dedicated run which is the same thing every day and i was leaving from our shop which mm -hmm. is in louisville mm -hmm. to um, indianapolis ups okay and coming back same thing every night well, started running into the same fella that in a car right up alongside of me, just grinning and a waving, you know, from his car. And I'm like, hey, how you doing? And I'm driving on, you know, next thing I know, he's blowing his horn. So I glance down and he's got his junk hanging out. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> his penis, huh? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Wow. Oh, dear then God. he backs off. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then he comes back up alongside of me again. He's grinning even bigger this time. Oh, yeah. His pants are down to his knees this time. Okay. Well, I'm sitting here just driving, you know, like literally wanting to put my hand next to my face, you know, and just kiss here because I'll slow down. Yeah. And I've seen this in cars. You will see the most crazy things in cars when you're up that high. I've seen women playing with themselves in various ways. I've seen men doing it, just driving and messing with themselves. A lot of them are actually recording videos now. That's a big thing. And it's just creepy, bro. When you're out here on the road and you're by yourself, it's some creepy shit that goes on. And, and it, we really have to be vigilant. You may be a decent person, but you are you are traversing the world. You don't know what these people are into. You don't know what they do. You know, I've had a guy knock on my window and and offer me a 15 year old. 
years ago, before I was even really caught up on everything that was going on with trafficking. And I just told the guy, hey, man, not interested. You know, I got I got seven kids in my dang self, man. I can barely afford, you know, I just gave him some story, you know. But it was weird. It was weird that this was going on. And like I tell you, if you're picking these girls up, you don't know if they're trafficked. You do not know if they're there, you know, against their will. You don't know if they're underage. You can get a serious charge doing this type of stuff, not to mention you are aiding and abetting the uh, assault of a minor. And it's just it's just shady business, man. You don't need it. You don't need it around you. So try to steer clear from this. This was a very good interview. Go check out Theo Vaughn, um, where he interviewed a female trucker. It's about a three-year-old um, situation. Check it out. And it was a good listen. But I hope that y'all understand, don't do drugs. Don't pick up lot lizards. Do not drink alcohol in the truck. Please don't. Thank you for coming to the page. If you're new to the page, I hope that you hit the subscribe button. I hope you go check out the New Regime Patreon and sign up for that. And I hope you come over to rumble.com TV uncut is how you find me where we have more conversations with less restrictions on what we can say. The live will be this Friday at 12. You must show up at 12 or one o'clock because you do not know if you're going to get a notification or not because YouTube is kind of flaky on the notification. But if you sign up for rumble, rumble gives out a hundred percent notification and you'll always be informed about what's going on on the Trucker Brown channel. Thank you for coming. Trucker Brown here. I'm just here to remind you that we are on Patreon. It does help out the channel. Thanks to all the people who sub to the Patreon this weekend. I appreciate you. New content is coming there. And these clips that I'm giving you are from the exclusive Trucker Report Live that I do with Phil, which is link is at the bottom on Rumble TV Uncut. So I appreciate y'all. Love the support. If you like the content, man, hit the buttons. Let me know. Thanks for coming to the Patreon. Thank <laughs> you.